how to create a ghostly edge brush effect in Affinity Photo. Something like this, a real sort of weird 60s, 70s sort of ripple effect. Well, just going to quickly show you how to do it. And it's basically creating a brush from a very basic shape. Just go over here and I'm going to use the ellipse. Now you could, of course, use other shapes, but just something like that. Very basic design. But what I'm now going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. Now you can fill it with all kinds of gradients. Just simply go up here to the fill, click here and go through your swatches and just add something like this. Maybe go with a radial design. Of course, you could go with linear as well. Perfectly reasonable. So once you've done that, select the move tool, press return or enter on your keyboard and now duplicate it. Now you can also manually do this. Just hold down the ultra option key and drag and duplicate the design. Perfectly reasonable as well. So duplicate and go for say nine or 10 and then change the vertical. As you do that, you can see now you get this design. And of course, depending on your gradient you've used. And I'm just gonna go for something like that and click okay. Now what you can then do is you can select all of them and then you can group them. So go to layers, right click and then group because I wanna rasterize them. Now you could also go down here and add some effects maybe make a 3D design, perfectly reasonable as well. I'm just gonna go with this basic design here. Right click and go down to rasterize. So it's rasterize, all the pixel layer, and you need as a pixel layer for the brushes. Then go over to filters, and down in filters, go to blur and motion blur. Now, I made a slight mistake. I didn't want to start up there, so maybe just reduce, now I don't want to cut off anything, I just want to have it that central part. So let's just go to filters, blur, and motion blur. So it's just like that. So it's got a nice blurring, but also you can see now because of that gradient and that edge of that gradient for each one applied, you've got that nice sort of ghostly edge as well as the ends here. And click apply, just makes it go straight down. And you can change the radius setting I'm going to go for 116. Click OK. Now I'm going to distort it. Now you could use this. This is really good for a brush design. And at any point, you can always go over to your brushes. Here's the brushes. And simply go to this menu, right side, and new brush from selection. So you can just save it. You don't have to use it, but I'm just saving it for future use. It's always quite good if you've got something you think that's pretty good. Then go to filters, distort, and deform. And I'm just going to distort it. So I'm just going to go down here. Now I add lots of these pins. And then simply click there and you can just move it. So just change some, maybe make a wavy design as you go down. So it's not straight down. Now, unfortunately, Affinity Photo doesn't come with a great wave filter. I would love to see that. But that's one thing that it doesn't have. So you've got that. So you can distort it using deform and click apply and go with that. And of course you could create thousands of different variations of this as well. And also you can always go to filters and repeat the form, just try out different ones as well. And that's a great way of reapplying it multiple times. Now at this point, simply just go over here to the brushes, okay, menu there, and down to new brush from selection. There you've got that, what you can do, you can remove it. You don't need it, if you do want it, save it to your assets. Just quickly go to the assets panel and put it in that. So double click, so you can edit any of these brushes and you can see the brush design there. Now you can apply the brush, so press B on the keyboard and then you can apply that brush. And you can see that's the initial brush. It's not exactly what I want. All you can do, go to general, and you can modify the size, maybe make it slightly smaller. Sometimes I think the brush is a bit too big. And then change the spacing and you can reduce it down. Don't have to go full on 100%. That's fine as well. But just give a bit of a space there so you can see like that. Also, what you can do, go to Dynamics. And now you can change the size jitter. But you can also go for Rotation Jitter. Create something like that. And also Hue and Jitter and change it so you get lots and lots of different colours. Now, I think I might just go for it slightly closer. So let's just change the spacing. You can see then you get that sort of 
jumble of colours and it's a very ghostly looking brush. And again, you've got here, the brush is, you can see now the result of that. And actually I think I might just make the size slightly bigger than that as a default. And you can see now as you apply it, you get that effect. All kinds of different, of course, rotations can be created using different options here, like cyclic. So you can create something like that, which may or may not be exactly what you want, but it creates also a very odd sort of ghostly brush stroke as well. But personally, I'm just going to go for random. And now also with random, you can also go here as well. So click here, and you can go for different profiles, and you'll get different types of random. And also you can do the same down here. Go for cyclic, you can change the colours there, so it flows from green, blue, etc. And then apply it again to create a really sort of odd, sort of very 60s sort of thing that you'd see on album covers back in the 60s. Very sort of hippie-like, psychedelic designs. So once you've done that, click close. And then you can modify this design, of course. You can then go and apply other effects. Maybe go up to filters, maybe apply different blurs, maybe go to distort and deform, or maybe use repeat deform. I always like to try that to see if it creates an interesting effect. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. What sort of brushes would you like to see? What sort of designs would you like to see created from these sort of brush designs? Obviously, I will try and uh, create something that's, you know, that you desire, you would like to see. I love this sort of design. I know not everyone likes this sort of ghostly psychedelic effect. Please subscribe to the channel. Always add new videos all the time about Photoshop, Affinity Photo, of course, Affinity Designer, and many others. Bye.